And fans of Mystery Science Theater 3000 know that no one does movie riffing better than that cast. And now the characters known as the Mads are back in a live movie riffing tour. Here with us are the show's stars, Frank Conniff and Trace Bullion. Hi to both Thank of you. you. How are you doing? So, um, Trace, you were part of the show from the very beginning. How did the how did this whole thing get started? Well, 87, uh, Joel Hodson was coming back from L.A. He had a pretty hot career. He was on Letterman and uh, Saturday Night Live. Right, right. And, uh, wanted to do a television show, and he knew Josh, J. Elvis Weinstein, and myself. We were in a writing group together, mm -hmm. and we said, hey, come on over. We'll start doing this TV show. It was about that much prep. So... Uh, so we're seeing some of this. How did the whole bad movie thing get started? Uh, well, we had access to this uh, television station's library, and they had a lot of bad movies. movies. <laughs> and we really didn't have permission to use them, but we did anyway because no one was watching. So we thought. See the advantages of being a little watch show. So what does it mean? What do you do when you when you riff a bad movie? Well, it, all, all it is really is that we uh, watch the movie unfold in front of us, and and it turns out it's pretty bad. <laughs> so we um, you know we just kind of uh, throw in uh, jokes and commentary either on what's happening on the screen or some pop culture reference that something in the movie inspires in us and, and it's really we kind of look at it as a collaboration with the movie makers mm -hmm. you know they made the movie they did the hard work of making right. the movie and then we just add another layer of jokes on top of it they that, just don't know they're yes, collaborating they, they don't know <laughs> they and don't know they, and then they, and then and they find and out. luckily their lawyers don't know either so, so. <laughs> let's try to keep yeah. it that way so yeah. as the mads what were your characters uh, well, we were the mad scientists that in the story of Mystery Science Theater 3000, we launched uh, first Joel Hodson and then Mike Nelson into space and forced him to watch bad movies. That was in our space. experience. Yes. In some way of taking over the world. I, that was never really yes. clear. It was, a, it was sort of a scant plan, but yes. you had one. We weren't great mad scientists. <laughs> no, we were, we were actually very bad at it. I was his... Um, bumbling yet lovable assistant yes. and um, I think the key to my character was uh, stupidity. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was very dumb. Which can be very yes, funny I in based, context. I based it on my own life and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it worked out good. We, we kind of fashioned ourselves after classic uh, comedy teams like Laurel and Hardy yeah. and Abbott and Costello and the Three Stooges. That, they, those were kind of our main inspirations. And Duke Mitchell. Duke Mitchell and, and Sammy Petrillo, yes. yeah. So is there ever a morning where you wake up and think Oh my goodness, I'm making a living riffing to bad movies. I, Could yeah. this I, be any more I thank, wonderful? I yes. thank the universe for that every day. I, I'm so, uh, ever since I, I got hired on Mystery Science Theater and, and, and in the years since, and we've been touring with this show and making people laugh all the time, I'm so grateful that this is what I do, absolutely. Yeah. It's like the dumb yeah. fun you had in junior high, except yeah, now it's yeah. a profession. All those teachers that told us you will not make a living <laughs> watching television. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Well, they're dead now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Who wins? It'll, yeah. it'll take a while before you can confront them on that. Uh, so what what is the show like, the live show? Uh, we take an old movie tonight. It will be uh, an old movie, which mm. for legal purposes I won't mention. Okay. Mm. Uh, and it's from the late 50s, early 60s. Uh, we will project, or actually the art cinema will do that mm -hmm. part, and then we'll make comments to it. Mm -hmm. so, so what is we the audience see? So the it's movie's a, going, the where movie's are you guys going, sitting? We're, we're sitting we're in right the audience. In the audience. Somet we are, sometimes yeah. we, we're not even in the front row. We go back and we're right in the we center like of the audience. We like to be in the pe yeah. with the people and, and hearing the laughter mm -hmm. around us. Yeah. And so is this something you sometimes already know what you're going to say or is it yeah, really we have, improv? Um, we we uh, carefully prepare scripts, but then there's lots of um, <laughs> spontaneous moments. Trace yes. makes me laugh all the time. <laughs> That's my um, job in life is to <laughs> screw him up. Or make yeah, him laugh. And, 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 and when you make a mistake, sometimes the audience enjoys that even more. Of they course. just come to these to see a crash. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're seeing the crash of the bad movie and yeah. then what else yeah. might happen on top Absolutely. of that. Mm -hmm. Can you riff a good movie? We prefer not to. Yes. Yeah. And well, don't the talk in the theater. The only That's riff I true. ever came up with watching a good movie was, shut up, I'm watching this. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you tell me about your favorite bad movies, or for legal purposes, is that also under wraps? Oh, no. Um, one we did last time we were here in a midnight show, uh, we did Glenn or Glenda. 
which is made by uh, Ed Wood, who made Plan oh, yes, 9, yes. Plan Not 9 from Outer director. Space, which many people consider the Citizen right. Kane of bad movies. Yes, but, and so we're seeing some of that here. Yeah, and uh, and we actually, that movie is, uh, Glenn or Glenn is a crazy uh, movie, but we, uh, and you might call it bad, <laughs> But we actually, sure. we actually love it. We love that movie. Well, yeah, it's got a lot thing. of heart. Yeah. The best bad movies mm. are like so bad they're almost good. Yes, there is a exactly. confusing reality. Yeah. They're yeah. very comforting. Yes. Yeah. And, and their innocence and the naivete that went into someone really passionate about making this film. Yeah. And all of them involve people working really hard for yeah. a long time to make yes. it. So there's for something, no money. <laughs> Exactly, yeah. and we're going like around we're calling doing. their movie bad. Mm -hmm. So you know, God bless yeah. them. I wish Edward had lived long enough to see how revered he is. Yeah, because his movies, um, as bad as they are, they've given people a lot of pleasure through the years. They have. Didn't Martin yeah. Landau play him? He yeah. played. Well, he played Bella Lugosi. Lugosi. Johnny Depp played um, Edward. Right. That's right. That's right. And that's a great movie. That kind of tells you the whole story of, right. of how he made these movies. Have you ever riffed that one? No, no that that's one's too, too good. way too good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a real movie. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, that's true. That's true. But I thought if it was Ed Wood connected. So, is there uh, are there any tips you could offer us if we wanted to try this at home? Well, people I think already do yeah, it at home all the Sometimes time. Sometimes they're doing it actually in the theater, which yeah. I wish no, no, they would. That's never do it. Do ne even for a bad movie, don't, um, don't talk. leave the riffing to the professionals. Yeah, we're right. licensed yeah. to do this. <laughs> yes. We have a special don't, dispensation. Even if it's a bad movie, if you're in a theater, someone else might be enjoying it. So exactly. don't talk. But when you're at home, especially it works best with friends when you're with your friends and you're eating popcorn and you're just all laughing and enjoying and 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 yelling comments yep. that's Which why we, we do it in the theaters yeah we don't really have a lot of friends so, yeah. <laughs> actually i'm thinking this could be one of those buffer family buffer things for thanksgiving you yeah. know we're all kind of worried about how how this will go with the big group yeah this idea. is an activity go, that uh, yeah you, uh, maybe even instead of a movie uh, riff your crazy uncle uh, that's yeah. a, that <laughs> might get you right photo. back where you started from with a family photo family book. No, movies. no, do it with the movies. Really, let's start there. Thank you both so much. The Mads will be at the Arc Lodge Cinema in Columbia City tonight and tomorrow at 8 p.m. We will link you to the tickets through the New Day homepage. It's very easy to find. When we come back, a new documentary series whisks people into the mountains of the Pacific Northwest to overcome their life's challenges. A look at that experience after the <laughs>